Hi and welcome back to AFTV. Listen, I'm just getting over the fact that England are in the final. But I have a transfer update for you all. But before you get, we get into that, everyone be aware. This is where now things are going to start to pick up. Whether that's rumours, um, deals being done. We are coming towards the end of the Euros. Copa America final as well is on the horizon as well. So you're going to see the deals being done. Um, we can see that from the rumours. Our group chat today has been popping off. Um, things flying in, whether that's Arsenal being linked to another goalkeeper or um, people having exits or um, rumours for players being brought into Arsenal. But the transfer update for you all today is come from Fabrizio Romano, who's actually been a very busy man on X um, these past couple of hours of today. And I'm going to deliver it to you right now. Um, this may not go as a surprise because we did speak about this, this the links uh, about this player leaving, um, I believe, nine days ago, around nine, ten days ago. So this won't come as a surprise, but it's official now. So here we go. So from Fabrizio uh, Romano, Albert Sambi Lokonga to Seville. Here we go. The famous words have been spoken. Uh, deal in place with Arsenal on, low, on a low move on the midfielder. Seville will cover his salary with 12 million euros. Buy option uh, clause also included in the deal. Medical is already booked. So we're going to get into this. Um, we're going to just break it down bit by bit and just give you some of the the main thing to consider um, around Sambi Lokonga, obviously, that is it being confirmed that he is going to be going on a loan move to Seville um, or Sevilla, um, a, a good club, a good standard, a good level. I think they believe they finished 14th, I believe. It was around 14th, 15th um, last season. Uh, it's not a Champions League spot. However, for me, I think it's, 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 it's good for Sambi Lokonga. I'm going to start with it first, it being a loan move. And you want to get my initial <laughs> reactions and thoughts and you can let me know your co in the comments below your initial reactions and thoughts to this because it may be similar to mine it may not don't want to sound harsh but a lone move um for me it would have been nice to see Sambi Lukonga being bought um and if, if anything as well the option to buy at 12 million euros um at the end of this loan would have been nice if it's a little bit more however it's good that he's gonna be able to get out and play um more football because I think for me Sambi Lukonga is a player that should be playing um it's funny, it's funny, you remind him and Fabio Vieira, um, to me, are players that have enough ability to be playing. I mean, Sambi has shown it. This will be his third loan spell. Um, his first one actually been in the Premier League, Crystal Palace, under Patrick Vieira, if you can cast your minds back. Um, I would, it's half me to say that was a successful loan move. Um, he got minutes, and I think the Palace fans liked him, but he didn't play as much as I think he would have liked to have played. And I think, um, for me as well, it'd be nice to see him be a bit more prominent in that Crystal Palace side. But he finished his loan spell there and then went on another Premier League loan spell move. Um, I'm sure you guys will, will know and remember. He went to Luton Town. Um, where for me, I actually think he had a, a fair enough, he, had, he actually had a big impact there at Luton Town. I think he was he was a staple in that midfield, um, especially towards the back end of the season. I watched a few of his games when he was playing as well and said, this is Samuel Lukonga who seems like he's getting familiar with the league. Um, sadly, as much as I actually think the Luton loan deal was, was perfect for him, they obviously went down. So it, it's, it's hard to judge. I think when he played, he'd done well, but in, inevitably the team went down in the end. So for me, I've always seen Sam Lukonga as a player that has ability, but is very slow and calm on the ball. Likes to take time, take extra touches, um, has a great ability, but it needs the extra one or two seconds on the ball. So going to La Liga, um, listen, don't get me wrong, it can be fast-paced in La Liga, but I think at Sevilla... Um, in La Liga, I think it would actually suit him perfectly well. I think he is a La Liga sort of player. Um, don't ask me what a La Liga profile player is compared to a Premier League player, uh, profile player is, but for me, Sambi would suit that league better than the Premier League. Obviously, it'll be yet to see, but we'll see that on his loan spell. Um, I'm sure Arsenal will be keeping the tabs on his loan deal um, and his loan spell at Sevilla, but I just think it's probably going to be the end of the road for his Arsenal career, um, Sambi Lukonga after this after this loan spell. Unless he completely lights up Seville. Seville have an amazing season. You never know. They might push up into Champions League sports or even, I mean, it's very ambitious, can go and win the league and he might be a big part of that. But I feel like a lot of Arsenal fans, including myself, are kind of, you know, made up their mind on Sambi Lukonga and say, you know, it's time to, to go and move these players on. Obviously, he hasn't been fully moved on. He's gone on a loan spell. But that is that is what is, what's been said today from Fabrizio. 12 million euros um, buy option clause. Hopefully, you know, we hope that's triggered. Um, I believe, I forgot, I think we bought him for around 15 million euros, maybe a little bit more, maybe 20 million euros. Um, 
back in around, I think it's 2022 or 21, I'm sure the comments will correct me, but it'd be nice to get more of a, it'd be nice to get a profit on Sambi Lukonga. Sadly, he hasn't really figured much in an Arsenal shirt. That he, the, the times I remember him, Brighton, where he kind of got, I've, in my opinion, thrown in the deep end, playing that midfield as a single um, defensive midfielder. And it was against a good Brighton side and some will argue, come on Cecil, it's Brighton. But he really suffered in that position. I don't think that was his natural position. And he just got targeted and didn't have a great game. I believe he played against Man City as well, where I think a lot of fans, I remember interviewing them after, were criticising Sambi Lukonga. But I don't think it was, uh, while we lost that game, it was his fault. I don't think it was down to him. So those are the kind of games that stand out to me. Oh, actually, sorry, tell a lie. One more, but you, I don't know if you can count it, but for me... <laughs> Probably one of his better games. Um, Pre-season Orlando against Chelsea won 4-0. Um, big up AF2V was pitch side. I remember him scoring a... Funny enough, he scored a header in that game. Um, I remember congratulating him after that. But that was um, <laughs> that one stands out to me. But again, it's pre-season. You, you take it how it is. Um, and like I mentioned at the top of the top of this transfer update, the fact that, you know, news um, around Arsenal transfers and, and players being let go or sent on loan will start to pick up. Um, I think they've done the right right time in, in you know confirming Sambi Lukonga. The reason why I say that, Sevi, I'm just gonna give you their pre-season. Um, they actually have a game on 5th, I don't know what day it is, let me just check, 15th of July, they have a game. It is currently the 11th. So they have their first pre-season game on the 15th of July against Orlando Pirates, which I have to my right here. Um, they also play Sporting uh, CP as well, Sporting Lisbon on the 23rd, and then on 26th they play Al Itihad. I have to make sure I've got the pronunciation of that right. So, so the preseason, their preseason starting very soon. Like I said, the Euros is coming to an end Sunday. Come on, England. Um, we'll be playing obviously in that. Um, so that'll be over obviously on Sunday. I mean, the players are probably going to need more a, a lot of a rest after that. Um, and then same Copa America is also coming to an end. The reason why I mention this is because last season we had all our deals done by preseason to give people an update on when we're looking. I mean, the Arsenal team have been training. Um, Oh, Cecil. It's, in, it's even, I always get this confused, Mallorca or Malaga. They've been, they've been in, in Spain um, doing uh, like a light pre-season. So the players that obviously haven't gone on an international break, so they've, they've started already. But then the actual pre-season tour, which will be heading over to the States, um, big up everyone that will be over in the States will be over there as well. That will likely be taking place on the 22nd. Um, Monday the 22nd is when the, I'm assuming the team is when we fly out, we'll be going heading out there as well as I'm sure the Arsenal team. And their first fixture is against Bournemouth in LA on the Wednesday. Um, and then following that is obviously Rivals in Red, which is playing against Man United in LA. And I believe Liverpool were playing in Philadelphia. So preseason is, is literally, it's not next, not, not next Monday or this Monday, so it's the Monday after. So it's ambitious, it is ambitious, but the rumours are picking up. It'll be nice to see some of the deals being got um, over the line um, as soon as possible because like last season, I think it benefits Arsenal when players are confirmed before pre-season, they get a nice feel. You're playing against top opposition in America. I think it's only right. But this is an incoming, this is an outgoing on loan. Just to reiterate the news for you all, it's Sambi Lukonga going on loan to Sevilla um, on a one-year, obviously, loan spell with an option to buy 12 million euros. Let me know if you are happy, delighted to hear this news or if it's something that you might be against it, so you want maybe to hold on to him, maybe you might be thinking we might be getting light in the midfield um, and it's a player that you might want to hold on to. But for me, I think all round as well, from the general consensus around Arsenal fans, I think this is positive news and it's good for Sambi Lukonga because I'm sure he's going to want to make a claim back to making it back into his national team side. Because I believe when he was around 22 years old, he was there was talks of him or he might have even been called up for his national team. So I think it's important that he's getting minutes. So big up Sambi Lukonga. Thank you for your time. Arsenal, I know you're going alone, you will be back, but for the time you've had, thank you for that. And make sure you check out all the content coming your way. We'll be keeping you up to date with all the transfer news. There is plenty tomorrow on Transfer Daily, which Robbie obviously conducts, so make sure you tune into that um, tomorrow morning. Uh, there's a lot been happening in the Arsenal universe, shall we say. The, the, the um, universe has a lot been going on in the transfer uh, market and the world around Arsenal, so make sure you stay up to date with all of Transfer Daily with Robbie. Also, all the the, the news that we're covering with its um, transfer daily extras or talking transfers as well. That's all being covered on this channel. So make sure you stay tuned. Like the video if you like the video. And people, I'll see you again very soon. Take care. Peace. Come on, England. <laughs>